guys. So, this is inspiration. Um, I've just heard this twice. You can still see through it, but never mind. It doesn't matter. First step is to add suggested colours to the background. Just unplug this so you can see. We've got greenery, desert flower, and honey ginger. So, sort of a bright green, dusky pink, and a a brownish colour. So let's see what I've got in my gelato. Dusky pink. Mm. Mm. I'm going for that one, greenery. Um, orangey brown colour. That's the closest I'm going to get to that. Here we go. I'm going to play with my new water brushes. Um, my old, I had one water brush and it broke. It split. So I ordered these ones from eBay. And they took ages to arrive. And whilst I was waiting for those, I saw these ones in Lidl's. Small, medium, large. I used a little large today and um, just see what happens, see how they go. Um, just gonna lay down these colours. It's still really warm in Britain at the minute. Ugh, we're all dying. <laughs> we're not used to it. Does mean that I've been able to get some washing done and then dried in like two seconds. Hang it out and it's done. <laughs> awesome. So let's see. It's pretty um it's the word I want to use. They're not too soft to squeeze. Do you know what I mean? They're quite. You have to squeeze them quite hard to get the water to come out. There we go. Try not to make muddy colours, although I think these colours will go pretty well together the next step is to glue down some hand stamped or printed tissues um, I don't think I have any tissue paper left that I've been stamping on, so um, I'm probably going to have to go away and just do some stamping on some tissue paper, which is not a problem. Easy peasy, I can do that. <laughs> I'll use my stays on so that I can use my um, matte medium. To smudge. I think I need a bit more of that pink pigment lying down because it's a bit. It's not, you can't really see it, so. Let's have a 
bit more of that. I've been baking today. Well, no, I was baking yesterday and decorating today. One of my stepsister's birthday, and I hope she likes it. It's it's come together really easily, actually. Obviously, I had a few moments where nothing goes to plan. You know, it always happens, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, but yeah, really happy with it so far. The only thing I've got left to do is make some wings, and I'm not going to do that until close to the time. Today and yesterday were the only days off work I've got to do the cake, so I had to get that done, and I'm really pleased it went together, like I say, really easily. It doesn't look bad, so I'm very happy. Um, yes, so... I'll grab some stamps and some tissue paper. Okay, so I grabbed this. This is an off white tissue paper. And I have these Alice in Wonderland stamps. Now I know a lot of people have done Alice in Wonderland, but Ooh, that didn't work very well. I don't mind. All our pages will be different. Hmm. I need to actually just take a minute. And need to look properly. stays on again. So I've got this big keyhole. I think I'll speed through the rest of me doing this. You don't really need to, need to chatter all the way through it, do you? So, oops, as you probably saw, I was getting better results with the, the brown, so I switched to the brown. I think I just need to refill my black again. Oh, this brush is rubbish. 
I don't want to use one of my good brushes. Oh. This one needs a wash. <laughs> Got the old matte medium here. I'm just going to put it down. I don't think this is quite dry, but dry enough. Probably not going to use all of this tissue paper, but we'll have it for next time, won't we? Does it tear very well to be honest? It tears okay that way. Near the way it just kind of shrills like this. I'm trying to tear it down and it wants to go across. But never mind. Of course, the gelatos are moving because they are water soluble and they won't they won't stay put. If I'd have used the matte medium to activate them more gesso, then they would have. But I didn't want to. I didn't. I don't mind that they're moving. about the wrinkles either. That's just added texture. Um, maybe I will cut it roughly. I will try to tear it and then I can get my Do this a little bit intuitively. Sometimes, you know, we overthink things. We don't need to. Usually, well, a lot of the time, our first instincts are right. So let's just go for it. Don't want to put two pocket watches together. Alice in Wonderland. I don't know if I've mentioned this. Probably have. It's, it's when I was a child. I watched the film every day, every single day, <laughs> and I still love it. So yeah, I don't know. It's like. Bit of escapism, isn't it? Really, a bit of madness. Not really, Wonka said. A little nonsense now and then. Anyway. look so far. Oh, and the neighbours have decided to drill.
Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna leave it there. Mm -hmm. Right, let's see if we can do this without the banging next door. Uh, so the next step is to add a focal image or shape. And the step after that is to use one or more of the given words. And this is for both of those steps. So this is my focal image and queen is one of the words. And the thing, sorry, I just noticed something was flashing. My tea, I think. Yeah, <laughs> sorry if that's... Messing with the picture. There we go. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 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 use the stays on to uh, blend around the edge. Just should really use my blending mat. help it pop from this very colourful page. This is from the Graphic 45 Halloween in Wonderland kit. So, I've only ever bought two Graphic 45 paper pad set, uh, sets because they're so expensive but this one I just had to have. I also want the, um, the Halloween one with all the potion things. I want it, but it's too expensive. You never know. If I put some nice karma out there and do some nice deeds, maybe one day I'll strike it looking and find it in a charity shop. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? And then I'm going to just rub the side along the edge to really darken the edge up. Darken it. There we go. That's going to be my focal image. Now, I'm not sure if I want to stick it down yet though. Let's have a look at the next prompt. Add another layer of colour. Hmm. How am I going to do that? That's a good question. I'm just in an air bubble there. I'm just going to get rid of that. Um, hmm. <laughs> I do think now that we've used that off-white the background's gone kind of a bit wishy-washy so yeah some colour would be nice but what colour I want it to match this Okay, so for the new layer of colour, I'm going to grab some Nicolazo Gold. Quinacridone. Nicolazo Gold. I'm going to pop it there. Pop the dot more actually. And grab my glazing fluid. Some of that out, grab my spatula, mix it together, and we're going to 
grab paintbrush. Bring it on over the top. Um, yeah, so I'm hoping to mute it down, make it sort of antique looking to match the image. Which I need to back into it. So I'm just going to concentrate on the edges for the minute. And then we'll go into the middle. Didn't quite put enough out to cover, but it doesn't matter. And then you want to let that sit for a minute or two. And hunt for the baby wipes. Oh, yeah. Just put one in back on that. Sorry, go pin. Okay. Has it sat for long enough? Let's have a look. Some of it will stay, some of it will come off. The longer you leave it, the less will come off. Because it will dry on there. So that's just given it kind of a rich tone and it's aged it a little bit and it's exactly what we wanted. There we go. I'm just going to let that settle for a minute before I do anything and pull the paint off. So I'll be back in a minute. I think that's just about dry enough now. Head in the shower. I'm ready for work. Let's have a little bit more play before I go. That's probably way too much. This is a new gel medium I'm trying out. From PBO. 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 I don't know. From them. And um, yeah, it's quite thin. For a gel medium. But I quite like that you can squirt it. Let's try that a little bit more. Three different videos recorded on this camera. I don't know if I've mentioned that in this video or not. I've lost track of what I've said in which video. Hopefully I'll be done with them all by next week so that while I'm on my holiday I can edit them and actually get them up. Let me see. That's the hard part is the editing. <laughs> Now then. I'm 
the next step is to doodle or make marks with white, black or gold. She's the queen, so we've got to go with gold, haven't we? I'm going to get some gold paint, because I don't think I've got a gold pen that works. This is a, um, the artist do crafts paint and it's titanium gold. And what I'm going to do is just dab my brush in. You just see that, sorry. Move it a bit. Just dab the brush in and then I'm just going to go around. Making marks with the brush. Got to leave for work early today because I have a happy mail package to send. My friend Pam sent me a lovely surprise. Um a little package so I forgot that I've been throwing some stuff to one side for her so it's quite a large package now that doesn't matter she's in a bit of a a crafty rut at the minute so if I send her some stuff she might be able to get herself going again bless her I hope anyway. I've sent her some ideas as well of where to get inspiration from and this is one of the suggestions that she joins. She joins us here at Mission Inspiration because it's really helped me. You know if I'm in one of those days where I just can't think what to do. I just do a Mission Inspiration. It's like a recipe isn't it? You just follow it. You don't have to think too much if you don't want to. You can really think about it if you like. You don't have to. I put my hand in something wet there. I think that's gel medium. My voice seems to be a bit funny this morning. I don't know if that's because I've not not been up long, really. Not giving myself a chance to wake up. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, I can't remember what the next step was. thread or staples for texture. Mm. Yeah, I need to think about that. Because I've got no ideas for that. So I'll be back. Oh, just pulled the cable out of my lamp, sorry. Have I? I don't know what happened there. Just trying to get the light in okay. It's a bit dull today outside. Uh, that's not gonna be enough. Yeah, so I've had an idea for the the thread prompt. I'm not sure if this is going to work, but we're going to play. Give this a go. The 
this is um, embroidery floss. I have done cross stitch in the past, so I've got quite a lot of it. I've been working on a horse since I was at uni about 10 years ago because it's so big. I've kind of, yeah, it's a bit involved. It's been a while since I made one of these flowers as well, so. Ooh. Oh, sorry, my tummy's rumbling. Oh, I can't grab it. Oh, my goodness me. Yeah, so this is a flower loom. And you can use it. I usually use it with yarn. And you just wrap. Your yarn around and round and round, and then you sew through the middle to connect it all. Yep. Just try and keep it taut. Okay, I can let go of that now. cross stitch needles so it's got quite a nice sized eye that I'll be able to see through without my glasses on it goes good to me again I should probably go get some of these shouldn't I yeah Now we just pull this off. And get scissors. Cool, the loose ends off that we've just tied. And now, where's my page? Where's my page? It's over here in the pile. Here we go. And we'll pop that there. And a little button for the centre. Hmm. Yeah. I just had a thought. I think it would be cute. So the button to the flower, just so you get a bit of that thread coming through. To the front. I'm 
just gonna crisscross it. Not to tell anything, I'm just gonna cut it and we'll pop a blob of this gel medium down on the page where we want our flower. It's a bit of a large blob, but never mind, it will be hidden by the button. before I cut the tails off. Right. The last step is to add journaling and or splatters. I think it's got enough writing on it. So I'm just going to add some gold splatters. I'm actually going to try. Let's try this new brush that Pam sent me. It's really soft. Um, let's see where my water bottle is. Oh, that's me. Um, here it is. Give it a spray. consistency right but we've got splatters <laughs> so that's more fine ones if we can there we go on the uh, image but that's okay what about here okay I think that's enough now one more thing I did want to do but I've got to wait for this to dry now um, so I'll be back with that in a minute oh, I've just looked down and seen that I've got gold acrylic paint on my new jeans of course I have so what did I want to do I wanted to add some of this around the edge of the page so it matches with the image Glue that down in a minute. <laughs> not working very well. <sighs> I 
let's try a proper blending tool. Let's see if this works a bit better. Yeah, there we go. how much this page has changed if you look at the suggested colours that I used in the beginning you can't really you can only just see them through the background now <laughs> it's okay I like the page as it is so I think Once I've glued that back down, that is done. And I like it. So I will try and include some photographs at the end. Thank you for watching. If you would like to participate in the Mission Inspirations, I'll put the link in the description below. It's going to be a lot of fun. If you're not doing it already, you should. <laughs> so I'll see you later. Bye guys.